Okay, that's why I brought out that, that first scripture about, about kicking against the pricks. Because that's what you're doing. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. You're offering vain resistance un unto the Lord, man. Unto against us. The prophets. The Lord's people, man. The, the, the men of the Lord that he's, put, he's chosen to go out and teach his word. Because it's not you guys, man. You guys are lost. Okay. I'm going to go to Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20. And it says here, it says, To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Okay, so it doesn't take long to find find that out. Okay, we'll entertain, no, we entertain people for a while just to see what they're about and, you know, where they're from, that kind of stuff, what they believe in. Okay, we'll break down some scriptures to them and we wait. <laughs> okay, we wait, we watch, we observe. Okay. We see if this, this, the, the, the scriptures take hold of a, of a person. Okay, but when they start opening their mouths and it's not according to, to, to the scriptures, because they, they're against the scriptures, okay, they want to, you know, um, put their point across as if to say that we're wrong. That's because there's no light in them, man. And now that our, our order was done. Because you reject the truth. You don't want to receive the truth, man. You want to, you know, continue in darkness. So, hey, let them be. You know, let them be. Uh, what was that? He that, uh, that is filthy, let him remain f filthy. Or something to that effect. Paraphrase, roughly paraphrasing. Let him be filthy still. Okay, if they don't want to receive this truth, there's nothing we can do to make them get it. That's all down to the Lord, man. We've done our part. We we, 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 we imparted knowledge uh, unto him. Okay, we don't give him the deep, the, you know, uh, the Apostle Taha said, or oh, you know what the scriptures say, man, you know, cast not your, your purse before swine, man. So, you know, it's only so deep we're going to go with you, man. But if, if evidently it's not, you know, not taken, in, uh, it's not um, taken with you. Then we got we got nothing nothing else to teach you. Okay, we gonna move on. Otherwise, it's just it's just pointless, man. Okay, which leads me on to the to the next one, next uh, uh, scripture, man. Okay, and this is um, that's not one. First Timothy chapter six verse three, right? It says if any man teach otherwise, and consent not unto wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mahashiach, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness he is proud knowing nothing but dotting about questions and strife of words where coming envy strife railings and evil surmisings perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and this is what it just turns into man you you all see enveloped in darkness okay there's little point of a debate when you, when your guy is so gone that he's not even open uh to um to this truth man he's not even considering it because he does sit on the doctrine that he's he's been you know the spell he's been put under okay okay you start spouting your shit without any uh you know uh, abject criticism of your own doctrine man we're not here to be convinced of you or anybody okay we are the teachers man okay now if you don't want to be a student you don't want to learn don't come up Okay, we're not here to be taught. Okay, by 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 you two thirds, man. Okay, <laughs> put it like that. Okay, we're not out here to be taught by by you other groups, man. That don't have the truth. Okay, so don't bother waste your time and waste waste our time, man. All right, verse four again. See, he is proud, knowing nothing but doting about questions and strife of words. Okay, you, it's just always one thing into another, man. You get you get cornered when the brothers cut you with the scriptures. You get cornered, and you run off. You're running off into something else, man. Okay, because you don't have no understanding, right? We have come of envy, strife, railings, and evil surmises, man. Perverse disputings of men, corrupt minds, and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness from such withdraw ourselves. Okay, so, you know, we, you know, we we withdraw ourselves from you guys, man. We don't want to be around you guys. Okay, and you shouldn't want to be around us if that's your view and opinion about us. 
See what I'm saying? You don't really apply the scriptures as as you're supposed to if you believe in them. Okay, if you really believe that we don't have the truth, man, then just leave us alone. Leave us to our own demise if that's how you see it. You know, if you know about the scriptures. Because there is no convincing us, man. You're not going to convince us with your garbage. Okay? This is uh, Second John chapter 1, verse 9, right? It says, Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine uh, of Yahweh Shai have not God. Okay, so you don't, if you ain't got the correct doctrine, you ain't got 100% doctrine of our Lord Yahweh Shai. You don't have the Most High, you don't have the Father, man. Right? So he that, uh, he that abideth in the doctrine of Yahweh Shai have both the Father and the Son. If they come, uh, come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not in your house, neither bid him Godspeed. Okay? You have nothing to do with the guy. Okay, we're not friends, okay? I don't I don't need to, to help you. Okay, the love is for the brotherhood, man. Okay, those who are like-minded, just like the Lord said, man. Those that do the will of my father. Okay, not everybody is a brother, okay? It says, for he that biddeth in God's speed is partaker of his evil deeds. Okay, so we don't need to, to shake hands and, and, you know, wish you good luck and all this kind of stuff here. You know, because for some reason they want to do that. You know, they, they want, they want you know, hail, hail, hail ups before they leave, man. They get cut in the spirit and they still want to want to shake hands and shit, man. No. Okay, we're not here to do that, man. We just say, that, go your way. Okay? The Lord's going to destroy you, man, if you don't repent. It's as simple as that. Okay? This is uh, First Galatians chapter 1. Uh, sorry, First Galatians, Galatians chapter one, verse six it says, "I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Yahweh unto another gospel, okay, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Yahweh okay. And like I said, we will, we will hold the Bible in our hands, okay. But you guys come with a different doctrine to what was taught, to what's contained in the scriptures." Okay, you're perverting the gospel, the good news of Yahweh Shai. The good news is for the nation of Israel. That's why it says, happy are we, O Israel. It's for the nation of Israel, man. Okay, it's not, it doesn't extend to the other nations. Otherwise, it, it would have said that in the, in the so-called Old Testament. So why is it we that are happy? Why is it, why is it good news? It's good news because it's good for Israel. Okay, the other nations are going to be punished for what they've done. All right, it says, but verse 8 says, But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which ye, we have preached, okay, the source, okay, because it came from the source, it came through Yahweh Shai and down to the disciples, man, and the disciples went on teaching other men. So if it doesn't, if it doesn't conform to that same doctrine as it was in the beginning, guess what? It says, unto, um, Let him be accursed. That's why you're not going to remove us from our foundations, man. You're not going to conf confound us and convince us that you got the truth. Your truth comes from the so-called devil. Well, not the so-called devil. It comes from the so-called white man, which is the devil. That's where your doctrine comes from. That's your foundations. Okay, as it's through the spirit. Given passed down un unto great men, passed on to us today, man. To the younger brothers out of here, man. For our apostles. For our elders, man. Okay, all through the spirit. Ain't no so called white man teaches this. Okay? So you're 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 twisting the scriptures, man, you're perverting the gospel. So anyone that anyone that comes up to you teaching something different to what you've been taught, man, hey, let them be a curse, man. That's why we've not got no dealings with you, man. That's why we say you're gonna be destroyed. If you don't, if you don't repent, you don't come round to this, you, then that's gonna be your fate. Okay, it's not that we're gonna do it, but the Most High is gonna destroy you, man. It's as simple as that, and there's no point going back and forth if that's the state of affairs, man, between the 
to opposing parties. There's, there's no point to opposing groups. You might as well just go on your way. Do you. And we'll do us, man. Okay? So as we said before, this is verse 9. As we said before, so say I now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you, then that ye have received, let him be accursed. For I do I now persuade men or God, or seek to please men. Okay, we're not you're not conforming the scriptures to please people, man. We say straight and plain what the scripture tells you, man. If you like it or don't like it, it's irrelevant to us, man. If you don't like it, then you know you're gonna be destroyed. Proverbs 13 and 13, I'm going to get that a bit later, right? But we're not here to please the people, man. We're here to correct the people. Okay? Truth hurts, man. When you're going off and you need correction. Okay? We're not here to please the people, man. Be, be friends with the, with the world. That's not what this is about. Okay? You're about, you, you guys are, are just a bunch of... Man pleases man, you want to accept everybody into this thing. Okay, but that's not what the Lord is dealing with, man. Okay? So for if I yet pleased men, I should have not I should not be the servant of Yahweh Shai. Alright, so but I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. For neither for for I neither received it of, of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Yahweh Shai Mahasha Yak. Okay, because Paul was directly no, the Lord directly uh, taught Paul, man. Okay? Just like the Lord taught Peter and, and the other disciples. Okay? But they that, that same doctrine was passed on through the, through the apostles, man. Through Paul, through Peter. And so on. Right? So we're not here to, 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 to incline our ear unto you, man. To hear what you got to say, we got, we ain't got time for that, man. Right? This is Romans chapter sixteen, verse seventeen. It says, "Now I beseech you, brethren, mark mark them which cause divisions and offences contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them, avoid them. You know, you you guys are running after us, man. Okay." I mean, you do, you know, do your teaching. That neither as that. You know, we, like I say, we're not chasing you guys down. <laughs> we don't, we don't need to, man. What, what for? If you don't, you're not getting it. You ain't getting it, man. We ain't gonna waste time with that. Same, same with these, these fucking, you know, uh, Sarnet is the the debate fucking shows, man. What the fuck do we need to be there for, man? That's all pointless, man. Alright? It says, Now I beseech you, bury mark them which cause divisions and offences contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mahashayak, but their own belly. Your own feelings, your own, you know, what you want, man. This, this, isn't, this, this thing of ours isn't about, or this truth is not about what you want. Oh, but I want to save Esau. Oh, you know, my best friends in the Udamite and all this bullshit it doesn't the Lord don't care about what you want the Lord just requires you to be obedient man okay because you're going you you're, you're teaching the scriptures out of your own mind what you want what you believe okay rather than what the scriptures are teaching man okay you serve yourself uh, it says, For they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. Okay? That's just what it is, man. Those that are on, on, you know, with you, man, are just simple. Alright? 